I'm very skeptical of products that seem to be priced um, very well, but seem to claim big claims. You know, everybody always says their Harley Benton is so good. It's, you know, I, I, I've seen so many videos. This Harley Benton will blow away my real Gibson or my real BRS. And, uh, and I'm not arguing that it can't. I'm just saying I'm skeptical. This cabinet, the way it sits right now, is $222 US and costs $34, I rounded up to the nearest penny, to ship. This is a $256 purchase is what it costs to get it from Germany to my home today. What I don't understand is the speakers that come in it are vintage 30s, if they are. Those speakers are sold on Sweetwater for $150 a piece, meaning the speakers in this cabinet sell street price for $300. Now, to be fair, Musician's Friends had them for $126. Either way, at that price, that means those speakers cost exactly what these two apparently Vintage 30s are and the cabinet costs. So it's the cabinet is for free. And I'm also aware of cost though. Generally speaking, the retailer will have a 30 to 40 point margin on those speakers. So if you take that into account, I understand, but also this is, Tolman is not just the retailer in this situation, they're the manufacturer, or at least they're commissioning as the manufacturer, which means they would buy a, the speakers in bulk at a manufacturing discount. And at that point, they would drive the speakers down even further. But something to note, I had recently in the last 12 months bought a Marshall 1936 cabinet, which I have currently still, and that speaker cabinet was four times the price of this cabinet and did not come with vintage 30s. It came with Marshall's less expensive equivalent of those speakers. Now, when I was picking out cabinets from Harley Benton, they have a horizontal and a vertical. I picked the vertical for two reasons. One, generally speaking, I like vertical cabinets because I like having the speaker closer and aimed at me. That's why I have a lot of my amps on stands because I like to hear what's going on with the sound of the amplifier. I don't like to EQ it uh, as it like hits my knees and I can't really tell what's going on and I always end up kind of EQing it differently than if I was listening to it at my at my face like a monitor. I want to use it like a monitor. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble saying it's a monitor. And it's actually pretty light. Something else I thought uh, you were going to see was a lot of particle board. Now their website states that it is 16 millimeter plywood. It doesn't state what kind of plywood, but something to note, I purchased cabinets in the past that were plywood, but had a mixture of particle board and ply. There's nothing wrong with particle board. I'm just trying to understand where they could have saved some costs. The grill cloth that's put in place or the grill that's put in place, it's fine, <laughs> but it is not perfect. And what I mean by that is you can see it like bends a little bit, even though I know this is a pop-out speaker frame like you would see on certain amplifiers, this uh, it's bent a little bit here. It's not a B stock. It looks like just when they put this cabin together, you can tell it was put together as inexpensively and as quickly as possible. The vinyl is, like I said, very inexpensive. So is the grill cloth, but it is not bad. And it's not anything less than I've seen on the five and $700 range cabinets. So again, it's on par, but I've seen, and I've, you owned many cabinets with the same kind of material and it will start, it will scratch easy and wear easy. Given that being said, there are some features that just really blew me away. The fact that it had recessed metal handles like a professional cabinet would have and metal corners was very impressive at this price point. So that leaves the big question. Is it really Celestians? Yes, they are exactly vintage 30s. Now they are made in China, but all vintage 30s now are made in China and they are 16 ohm speakers. So you have two 16 ohms and they wired it up and you have eight ohm cabinet. This is the exact same speakers you would find in high-end cabinets everywhere. And more importantly, these are the two speakers you would buy if you bought from those uh, websites I mentioned earlier. <laughs> Something also to point out that's kind of strange. Tolman sells the vintage 30 speakers, the same ones that I pulled out of this cabinet, for $117 a piece. That's $268 for the set shipped to your door. That's like selling one for a dollar and two for $250. So why are they selling it so cheap? I think this cabinet falls in the category of brand awareness. In other words, market share. Harley Benton built this cabinet and is continuing to build this cabinet with these speakers to get their brand out there, to basically impress the consumer. And in this case, a YouTuber, so that I will put the word out about the product. Obviously, I can't say anything negative about it. I can't 
There's nothing I could say about this cabinet, even if the cabinet wasn't very good, and it is good, I don't know what I would say negative about it. I'll give you some sound or I'll play some stuff on it. I have my Hughes and Kittner Grandmeister 40. Something also to point out too that's very important when you're ordering the cabinets, if you decide to do something like that, they do have versions of these cabinets without the vintage 30s in there and they're not a big savings. So I don't know if I would recommend those, but maybe if you've had experience with those, you could put those down in the comments down below. On that note, I'm gonna leave you today and I wanna just thank you so much for your time. Until next time, know your gear.